Hey, how's it going, bros? Who's playing Fog here from Game Predator Gaming, and this is uh, the new DLC from Modern Warfare 3. This is Black Ice. Now, this mission, you pretty much are driving a snowmobile down this diamond mine, and uh, you gotta go destroy some weapons and stuff. While on the snowmobile, you fight some enemies, and um, that's pretty much it. It's a lot like the uh, the race and the other snowmobile mission in Modern Warfare 2. So we start off here, and I'm just like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I actually tried this a couple times just so I would know what to do, but um. This mission is actually really fun because the snowmobile sequences are awesome, the jumps are fun to do, and uh, it's kind of nice to just smash into people and they go flying. And uh, this this DLC came out today, uh, March 13th. If you guys haven't got it yet and uh, you're part of Elite, definitely go in and get it. It's really good. Um, the new multiplayer map too is awesome. Uh, the other mul the other Spec Ops mission as well is pretty cool. Uh, definitely different, you know, it's the new kind of thing. And here, I was just trying to destroy this guy, and I was like, yeah, I'll take you to the tunnel, mother. I don't know if you can go all the way around that tunnel, but that'd be pretty cool if you could. Someone should try that. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys have been waiting for this DLC, or if you guys are liking the DLC so far in Modern Warfare 3, but um, the first two DLCs I didn't really like, because Piazza is just kind of confusing, and the spawns are garbage, and Liberation, I actually have, I haven't played it yet on multiplayer, to, it will never put me in a game with it. But um, Black Box and Overwatch are really good maps. I would definitely recommend um, picking those up if you haven't got it yet. And I think the full DLC pack comes out pretty soon too. So everyone who doesn't have a leak can get it soon. Now, uh, what you guys are going to see here is like I'm coming to the end of, uh, of this little sequence here. And then I'm going to get off the snowmobile and charge into the weapons facility. Now uh, the facility, in fact, is pretty much the same part from the story mode when you were going in there with... Um, with Sandman and all them, and uh, they died unfortunately. But so we're coming, in the f coming into the facility, and I didn't know how many people were in that truck, so I decided to kind of hold back for a little bit. But I knew there was a whole bunch of guys in there, and that guy in the corner always freaking got me. And I tried this on Veteran actually, and I was dying on the snowmobile sequences, so I'm gonna have to do that with a friend soon. Maybe me and Corey will do a uh, a dual, um, dual com on it, and like have a dual point of view. That'd be pretty cool. So, uh, how are you guys doing? I mean, have you picked up the DLC yet? Are you enjoying it? Because it just came out this morning. And it's, uh, like, my first impressions of it are they are pretty good. I mean, the Spec Ops missions, you play them once and you're pretty much done. The multiplayer map we're going to be playing for a while, you know, so... When everyone else gets the map, too, it's going to be a lot better because, well, you know, I'll have more people to play with. And the maps will be put in normal rotation. So, this, I just kind of, uh bounce the nade off because I didn't know if they were going to charge with the stairs or not, but I decided to shoot him anyway, so the nade was pretty much pointless. I pick up a striker here mainly because uh, this sequence is very close quarters and there's a lot of enemies, so I just kind of wanted to spray them all down without having to reload very often. And uh, so pretty much the mission, there, the point of this mission is race down the race down the slopes, come in here, plant a bomb, I guess, and get the hell out. And while you're getting all out and everything, You'll see here in a couple minutes that uh, the enemies aren't just really focused on you know their own lives. They're kind of still willing to kill you, so it's kind of weird. So pretty much, I'm just trying to clear out the room right now, and that guy is such a bitch. I hate him sitting in the corner. What's he doing? And the striker, it just sucks really because there's so many enemies. And that guy in the corner over there, I was just thinking like, you know, I should kill him, so I might as well. And the breach sequences in these two new DLCs are pretty cool because, uh, I don't know, they just feel a little more well done. Like, they, they, it's the same animation and everything, but um, the way the enemies are and everything, it just seems a little funner. And I don't know how I can kill that guy on the right the first time, but oh well. So now that I got the the stuff planted, I guess, I don't even, I don't know if I put, it, put C4 down or if I was just, you know, like, what, what facility has a self-destruct sequence? Like, who does that? It's just stupid. Maybe it would be like a, a Spongebob thing or Mr. Krabs or Robo Krabs has a, a penny slot for self-destruct. I mean, might as well be that simple. Now over here I was just trying to like get as many enemies down as I could so that they just get out of my way. So I'm spraying everyone down. I'm like, oh god, I'm going to die. Oh god, and then, oh, get turned on, son. What's up, AI? Nothing, that's what. And then pretty much after you destroy the facility, you get on the helicopter, the stuff blows up, and uh, mission's completed. So hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll be bringing you the other DLC soon, and a map breakdown as well. See you guys later.
done.